Um, all right. Girlfriend wants my mom to die. I mean, I just had to pause there and take that sentence in. Girlfriend wants my mom to die. Dear Billy Blue Balls. Uh, so I've been seeing this lady for almost six months now. Well, I'll tell you this right now. Reading that title, if you, if you see her for seven months, uh, you're the worst son ever. Um, we really fit well together and have grown really close. But one thing is she's got a huge problem with my ma. Uh, she thinks my mom is the most evil, selfish person in the world. Wait, and you already know that six months in? You got to pull the ripcord, buddy. And I got to say, she's made me realize that my mom can be fake and manipulative sometimes. Yeah, and now she's breaking you down. You're going to have Stockholm Syndrome soon. You need to get out of this. But she recently said she wishes my mom was dead and I just froze. I don't wish that at all. I know she has her problems, but like, holy tits, that was over the line, especially since she knows that I... Really only had my mom when my dad left us when I was a kid. Yeah, you got to dump. This This woman's a piece of shit. And she, everything she's accusing your mother of, dude, she's doing to you. She's manipulative. And now she's fucking with your brain. And you know what? Rather than just kind of going down the field, taking two yards here, three yards, she threw the fucking bomb. I wish your mom was dead. She went for the fucking end zone. She went for the kill shot, right? Incomplete. Was not caught, and you just froze. You slapped it out of the fucking air like a shutdown corner, right? And now you know what to do. He goes, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what to do, Bill. I feel like I'm caught between these two significant people in my life right now, and it's making me crazy. Hopefully you see this and have a nice fucking day. Yeah, buddy. I mean, you're six months in to this relationship, and she just said she wishes your mother was dead. Okay? That, who, she's a fucking psycho. She's a fucking piece of shit. The woman you're dating is a fucking piece of shit. No one should ever say that. 20 years into a marriage with the worst mother-in-law ever. I get it. I get it. But even then, you got to you gotta say, I can't say this. This is this person's mom. The fact that she said that, dude, you know, judgment for the defendant. <laughs> you, yeah, dump her. Dump her. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. I mean, what in the fuck could she possibly be doing that would warrant that statement? And this is your six months in. She's supposed to still be pretending that she's a cool person. You're supposed to still be pretending that every time for the rest of your life, you're going to pull the chair out when she goes to sit down. You know, she's just starting to show you who she is. And she said, I wish your mom was dead. Just thank you, lucky stars. That you didn't fucking marry this chick. You didn't have kids with her and all of this shit. Because, you, you know, what, what do you think is going to happen? Eventually, if she's not fucking happy in a relationship with you and you guys are married, you got kids and your lives are all entangled. And all of a sudden she starts wishing you were dead. Huh? And then out of nowhere, she wants to cook for you every night and everything has an almond aftertaste. Yeah, get rid of her. That is a fucking, that is completely unacceptable um, statement. And you're a child of divorce, so you probably don't have the boundaries that you need to have. And that boundary, that is a, a boundary that was crossed and she cannot cross back over. That is some Benedict Arnold shit and she needs to walk the plank. Good day, sir. Um, <laughs> it's just my gut feeling.